Oh, well, this is my workroom. Um, this is this is where I work. Um, I've done everything here. Um, I done all my picture books and I've written all my novels up here. Uh, of course it starts like everything else with just somebody sitting down and thinking how will I do this, you know, and just trying to make a little drawing and probably it isn't right and then you redraw it in my case. I don't know, there's probably people who just get it right first it's time and I don't. I do lots of drawings very often before I actually get going. Uh, for instance, a book I'm doing now, uh, which is about an old lady and her husband. So I started off trying to draw the old lady. This was the first go. Yeah. Then I thought perhaps I should give her some other people to be with her. And I did this, I thought I'd have her in an old people's home, but then I didn't think that was really such a good idea. So then I gave her a cat, which is a much better idea, so there she is with the cat. Well then, of course, I had to decide what colour, what sort of clothes and everything, and um, so I did a little picture of her with her husband. So that's what they'll be like in the book, you see. Then when I'd done that, I finally drew her in her chair, in colour, with the cat. And there she is, and that's actually the first picture in the book. In the book that's just come out, in the zoo book, there's a picture of some tigers sneezing. And I think I did it four times in full colour. I thought I would never get it done, and I thought, you know, I might as well give up. There, there's the open mouth tiger, you see. I drew him off, off the internet, actually, because, you know, I've drawn lots of tigers, uh, uh, from tigers in the zoo, but you wouldn't ever get them to open their mouth and stay that way. So uh, I find that's very useful. I've, oh, all these things that didn't exist when I started to work, so they're a terrific help. I don't think people were very interested in illustrations until fairly recently. They weren't thought to be art as such. When I started painting at art school, I just wanted to be a painter. And I did reasonably well as a painter for a while. Um, when I look at the stuff I did as a child, I think they were always illustrations rather than paintings. I never drew from life as a child. Uh, I only learned to do that at art school. After art school, I did have a slight go at that time at a picture book, but uh, I couldn't really get it right until I had children of my own, because uh, it's absolutely essential, I think, in doing picture books. I never thought of myself as being something that went into an archive, or that my original drawings were of any particular importance. And I was absolutely delighted when Seven Stories said they would like them, so they'll be safe there and looked after. To think that children can come and look at the stuff there, because, uh, of course, Nearly all my stuff was for children. <laughs>